Hi guys, so today I'm filming my June Favorites 2014 video. I am filming in a different setting location today. I'm actually just filming in my parents' room because my sister has a friend over in there, you know, having fun in their room and you can probably hear them through the walls while I'm filming the video. So that's why I decided to switch locations. And I'm sorry if I look a little bit shiny on my forehead. I'm not even that shiny. It's just like the natural light coming in is just hitting all the spots. I put like highlighter on and it's just looking a little like greasiness. And also I got a haircut. So I don't know if you can tell. It's not a huge dramatic change. Just like enough of a change. I don't know. I was just kind of bored with my old hair. Although I still loved my long hair. I was just bored of it. Had no shape. One length. So this I have some more texture and layers and just some more fun with this. So that's what I decided to do. And yeah, so let's just get on start with the video. And I promise I'm wearing clothes. You just can't really see because my hair is covering it up. But I'm just going to get started. So the first beauty favorite for the month of June. For the most of the month of June, I haven't actually been wearing a ton of makeup because I had exams and I had to take a swimming course and of course um, doing things like that, I didn't really have time to put on makeup or was just too tired to. But when I did, I put this on. It took me literally the longest time to get this palette. I probably waited about four, four or five years since it's been out and it's the Naked Urban Decay palette. Uh, it's the first one in the collection of the Naked, two, three in the basics. Um, just a standard palette. I'm not going to talk too much about it because I know you guys have probably heard so much already about it. Like, literally every person owns this and their mother and grandmother. So it just looks like this. It's just a neutral palette with a bunch of, um, matte and shimmer colors. There's just so many things you can do with this palette. Like, so many different looks. And literally, if I wanted to go on vacation, I would probably just only bring this because you have your nudes and your black and your gray and your... Shimmery, non-shimmery, you got your little mirror, and the brush also came along in the front here. So I've just been using that a ton. The only thing uh, is the downside to this is the packaging. Although it looks sleek and nice and sophisticated and pretty, um, it like attracts dust and makeup sparkles, particles all over. So that's really annoying because it's really noticeable and then it gets really dirty and it looks bad. But other than that, I've been using that for my nights out. So I've been loving that for the month of June. The next product I've been loving for the month of June is a actually a mascara and it's the Makeup Forever Professional Smoky Extravagant Mascara and this is just like the sample or tester size. It just looks like this and it actually came in the birthday gift this month from Sephora. It came with a lipstick that I actually don't use a ton but the wand basically just looks like this. It's kind of like a pointed tip. It kind of looks like a cone maybe. You would describe it, I don't know, but I've been loving it. It's actually what I'm wearing on my lashes, my upper and lower lashes today. It's just very black and um, thick and really wet, and I love wet mascaras. I feel like I get the most um, of my lashes, like the length and everything, um, when I have a really wet mascara to work with. So I think that this one's great. Like, I'm making it, I'm probably exaggerating a little bit. It's not that wet, but it's wet enough that I like the formula um, I really don't like dry formulas. So, been loving, loving this for the month. The next product I've been loving actually is also I got from Sephora, I want to say a few months back, maybe May, end of April, I can't really remember. I just know that I love this product. It is the NARS Radiant Creamy Concealer, or Creamy Radiant, Radiant Creamy Concealer, and I'm in the shade Vanilla. This is like my all year round like skin tone. I don't know if it quite matches me now because summer is hit and I've become a little darker even though I look pretty ghostly with this natural light coming in. Uh, literally right now it is by far beat any concealer I've ever used. It probably is going to be my all time favorite mascara for a while until I find something better. It's good for hiding the eye bags under your eyes, for blemishes, when those days I don't want to wear foundation and just cover up with some concealer, this literally does the trick. It's thick, but not too thick that you can't blend it out. Um, I usually use my beauty blender when like my finger isn't doing a good enough job. So I've been loving this for the last few months actually, not just June. The only thing about these three beauty products is they're not the cheapest or most inexpensive. You have to get them at like Sephora, Ulta, or on online and they're not cheap they are like a more luxury high-end brand but they work so well that I mean I'd probably repurchase all three of these products when I run out because they just do such an amazing job so the next product I've been loving for the month of June has to be a body lotion and I use body lotions all year round I've really started to use them a lot though like 
this summer or like spring because you know when you're starting to show a little bit more skin and you're going near the pool and stuff you want to make sure hair where it's seen is kind of gone so you need to also lather up and make sure your skin feels nice and smooth and you know it just um, prevents it from being so dry so actually the one I've been using for this month uh, particularly is the pink total flirt body lotion first of all let's just take in the packaging how bright this is like I just it catches my eye and I've only actually have this much left and it is in the um, scent apple blossom and freesia or free freesia freesia I don't know f-r-e-e-s-i-a I can never pronounce that one. Um, it says, Nourishing cream gives hands and body an extra boost of moisture with our super softening cotton complex and a healthy combo of vitamin E and C. So this has just been doing a splendid job at keeping my skin nice and moisturized and not dry for the month. It just smells so good and refreshing and like that hint of summer. I just love it. And I actually got this as a birthday gift from one of my friends, Alexa. So if Alexa, you're watching, thank you. I love this. Okay, getting on to the fashion favorites of the month. They're not really fashion favorites. Um, I mean, I guess you would consider them fashion favorites because uh, workout wear is really, you know, starting to, um, what's it called, hit the runways, I guess you would say. Like, there's really trendy workout wear that's been coming out, and a lot of it I've seen are actually muscle tees. And Lululemon, I don't know if you guys have heard of that brand, it actually, I think, originated in Canada, if I'm not mistaken. They have really good workout wear. Well, it's specifically for yoga, but I used it when I used to dance a lot at a dance studio. I'd used it, the, like, the clothing for that. You could use it for yoga, you could use it for running, biking, whatever kind of sport or physical activity you do. The shirt I actually want to show you is this muscle tee, and they just started selling them, and it's pretty basic. I mean, it's kind of, uh, some people may not like it. It's not that deep of um, an arm hole, but it's deep enough so you can kind of see the cute little sports bra you're wearing underneath. It's mesh on the top, and the material is just so good for working out with, and like if you're sweating and stuff. I got this in a size 8, if you're wondering. I'm usually a 6, but I like this to fit a little bit bigger, um, just over some of my sports bras and whatnot. This was not the cheapest, like it was definitely not inexpensive. Lululemon is known for having um, kind of higher prices in their stuff, but their stuff is such good quality. I own a pair of their leggings, I own like a ton of their shirts, their shorts, literally I live in that store for workout wear. So I don't know, I've just been liking this a lot and it has the um, little lemon sign here. For any time I work out, I've just been throwing this over top a sports bra and this was, I want to say, between $50 and $60. Just so you know, that's probably the price range you're going to be looking at for a shirt like this. It also comes in blue and purple the last time I checked their website and in stores. The next product is another um, clothing piece. I actually have two more clothing pieces to show you. This sports bra I actually got at the Victoria's Secret Pink semi-annual sale and it's just like this. It is gray and like hot pink and has a mesh back which I really really love and built in cups and these are so good with like support and whatnot. It has a little bit of push up and I got it in a size medium, I believe. The only thing I wish is it would have a little bit more stretch and elasticity. What's the word? Like elastic in this to get it on. Because I feel like I'm almost going to bust the seam one day just because I have to like kind of stretch it to get it over my bust -y area. So, I don't know. I've been loving this a lot. My sister actually stole this a few times for me and likes it as well. It's very supportive. And I got this for like 18, 19 bucks instead of or opposed to like... 35 40 so I thought that was a great deal and I've been wearing that a ton under that muscle tee for sure and then the next and the last um, clothing piece I have to show you here are the shorts from American Eagle and these were actually from their last year's collection of um, like athletic clothes I was gonna say sporting event clothes and they're just this bright coral with this like maroony purpley bands at the top and then it has like a little zipper on the back so you can put like maybe a credit, not a credit card, a credit card could probably not fit in there, but maybe like your house key if you're going running or something. Again, the um, material for these are so good. It kind of reminds me of this Lululemon material. Um, kind of like that rain jacket material as well on the outer layer. Got this in a size medium. I also got this for like $15 last uh, summer, which was a great deal because originally it was like 40 so that was really good and literally I wear them so often when I work out So these are great. All right moving on to some of the random favorites of the month I have more random favorites than beauty favorites this month actually and I just want to say the 
music artists or songs I've been loving. The music artist I've been loving is Iggy Azalea. Her whole album, the new classic I believe it's called, is so good. I literally am on a kick with that stuff. Every time I'm working out, I literally only listen to Iggy, which is like crazy because I never thought I would like her music as much as I did or do, but it's just so, so good. Sorry, I'm looking on my phone if you're wondering. Some of the ones I will mention, like my favorite ones, are obviously Work. That's I like that one more than Fancy, even though I know Fancy is the one she's known for. Bounce, Goddess is really good, Change Your Life, Black Widow featuring Rita Ora, so that one is also really good and Lady Patra uh, featuring Mavado. Those are just really, really great songs. And then the other artist, or I mean, it's more of a group that I've been loving is Codaline. I found out about Codaline before The Faults in Our Stars was released in theaters, so I know everyone started getting really obsessed with them once they heard the one song that was in The Faults in Our Stars, which is all I want, and then like Ellie Golding made a cover, which is fantastic as well. Love that. I obviously like All I Want. I like High Hopes, the Latch cover, and then all the rest of their songs, but I'm not gonna keep going because I know that I'd be here forever listing all their songs. The movie favorites. I've actually have a few movie favorites for the month. I went to see Neighbors at the beginning of of the month, which was a really great film. I didn't think I'd like it as much as I did, but you know, Zac Efron was in it and Dave Franco. Dave Franco is like my all-time favorite male actress, and Zac Efron's a pretty close second, so it was a pretty good movie. Um, very, very funny. It was definitely a comedy. And then, obviously, The Faults in Our Stars came out this month, and let me just tell you how great it was. I mean, you didn't even have to read the book. I think that the book and the movie followed pretty close hand in hand except for like maybe minor changes um which may have upset some of the viewers that read the book but i mean i thought it was overall pretty good i know a lot of people hate when people say this but i actually did like the movie a little bit better than the book i don't know i liked the book but i just wasn't a huge fan maybe it was just because of how depressing it was i'm not sure or if it was john green's style of writing i'll give another one of his books a shot and see what happens but overall i thought shailene woodley and i forget the guy's name but the one that plays Augustus Waters. I thought they just were like a dynamic duo. It was such a good film and I definitely would rate it like five stars out of five. So that's good. And then the other one I saw was 22 Jump Street. I'm not really gonna say it was a favorite. It was good but I did like 21 Jump Street better. I did have a lot of laughs so during 22 Jump Street so at least they caught me there laughing a few times. My favorite TV show for the month has to have been um, a new show actually that was released on Netflix and it is Orange is the New Black. I heard so much about this show like literally since probably like November and I just didn't have the time to sit down and watch it but now that it's summer I've had so much more time on my hands to like relax and do things like that. So I went through one whole season and I started the second season yesterday I believe and it definitely got me hooked. The only thing I'm not super happy about is it's a pretty long show like each episode is like 55 minutes or so. So I mean if you can sit through it or just take breaks that's great. It's definitely a show that I didn't think I'd like as much as I do like I said. Just for a quick synopsis or a summary it is about a girl or a woman that goes to a federal prison for something that she didn't really have she did have control over doing but it wasn't really all her fault a lot of stuff happens in that prison is just like a female federal prison and there's just so many twists and stuff that you would never think would happen and I, it really got me thinking of what actually does happen in those types of prisons I mean obviously it's a show and not everything is real but I definitely think that um, some of that definitely could have happened yeah I don't want to give away too much but I do like the storyline I definitely think you should be over maybe 15 or 16 watching this show because there is a lot of maturity involved in watching um, so yeah I've been loving that show for the month and I will update you on the next month if I was as obsessed with season two as I was with season one. My favorite apps for my phone this month would have to have been my fitness pal and run keeper. My fitness pal is basically a um, app that keeps track of what you're eating and what you should be eating, what you eat too much of. It kind of just balances it all out for you. So I've been using that app for a good two months now or three, no, maybe just two. And then the other app I've been loving is run keeper, which is just a app that you can, um, 
you can use your phone or your iPod while using the app and you're doing a um, active activity. So if you're doing something like cycling or mountain biking, sorry, I'm just reading off my phone what they offer here. Downhill skiing, snowboarding, skating, swimming, wheelchair, rowing, Nordic walking. There's just so much options you can do it then after your workout it tells you the route that you did um, say I went running then I would it would map out the route I went and how many minutes I spent where what was my miles per hour or miles per minute I don't know how they calculate that but um, shows me my goals what what I've done really good in what I need to work on so I've been really liking that app as well and then my last favorite my last two favorites my food favorite I've been loving hummus for the month, which is kind of odd, but I mean, I've been on a up and down with it. I've liked it, then disliked it, and I'm on the up again. I've just been loving hummus with gluten-free crackers. Um, I've also been loving, not that I had this a ton this month, but I've had it a couple times in my booster juice, took away my booster juice virginity, and I had the spinach is it in it smoothie, and geez, that was such a good smoothie. It is all greens, um, vegetables, and I think there's maybe one fruit in there. Um, very filling, very tasteful, and energizing, so I really liked that smoothie for the month. And my favorite activity or event of the month would have to have been just working out in general. I really don't enjoy running, but uh, it's been growing on me because I've been going more and more, and the more I go, I feel like the longer I can run for, the stronger I get, and um, I just feel more confident and like good about myself after I finish a good workout. Biking I've been into a lot lately, I've been biking a lot, especially with friends, really good exercise, and yeah. That's going to be it for my favorites video today, I hope you guys enjoyed this video, remember to leave a comment down below on what your favorites were for the month of June, and remember to like this video, give it a thumbs up, and follow me on all my social media, which will all be linked in the description box. So, I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye, guys.